Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll see the first step of training of a neural network which is forward propagation. Before we start, let's have a look at a sample dataset which will be used to train the neural network. This is the dataset which we'll be using for this video. This dataset has four independent features represented by green and a dependent feature represented by red. For the sake of simplicity, let's focus on the first row and try to understand forward propagation with this single row input. Each of the independent feature in the first row will be passed to the input layer of the neural network to act as input. Now we start off the forward propagation by randomly initializing the weights of all neurons. These weights are depicted by the edges connecting two neurons. Hence, the weights of a neuron can be more appropriately thought of as weights between two layers since edges connect two layers. Now let's talk about this first neuron in the first hidden layer. This neuron receives input from all the neurons in the previous layer and combines it with its own set of weights, represented by the red edges, and after applying some activation function, calculates the output known as hidden activation for this neuron. The output or the hidden activation will serve as input for the next layer neurons. Similarly, the hidden activations for all other neurons in the layer are calculated. When the hidden activations for all the neurons are calculated, this is said to have calculated hidden activations for the first hidden layer. So all the activations for this hidden layers have been calculated. These activations will serve as inputs to the layer after them. So these hidden activations will serve as input for the neurons of this hidden layer. Once the hidden activations for the last hidden layer is calculated, they are combined by a final set of weights between the last hidden layer and the output layer to produce an output for a single row observation. These calculations of the first row features is 0.5, then the predicted value becomes 0.5 against the actual value of 0. Now if you notice that carefully, we calculated the hidden activations for each of the neurons sequentially. That is, one neuron after the other. In fact, one optimization that we can make to the calculation is to calculate them in parallel. Since calculation of neurons is independent of each other, they can be computed in parallel easily. We can calculate the first hidden activation simultaneously, then calculate the activation of the second layer simultaneously, and then finally calculate the output. This series of calculations which takes us from the input to output is called forward propagation. In this video, we understood what forward propagation is and how we can parallelize calculation of neurons in a particular layer. In the next video, we'll understand the maths behind forward propagation and at the same time parallelize across rows besides neurons in a layer. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.